Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I created this OBJ dance sequence. Um, you will need Adobe Fuse Blender, which is a 3D software you can download online for free, Adobe After Effects, and Red Giant Trap Code Form. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your support. So if you're interested in creating this video, please keep watching. So we're going to be starting in Adobe Fuse and I'm just going to be creating a basic uh, 3D character in Adobe Fuse. So I'm going to start with the female Fit A and I'm going to select the female Fit A torso and also the legs and arms. Okay, next I'm going to go to Customize. And here you can adjust um, each of the settings. For this project, I'm not going to change too many of the settings because um, it's not going to really matter because we're going to be using um, OBJ particles. So if for some reason you can't move the adjustment bar, go to Preferences and under Maximum Adjustment Shape Value, make sure that's at 100. So now I'm going to go to Clothing and I'm just going to choose this sports bra. and these um, scrub pants. And I'm just going to choose the alpha medium wavy hair. And that's all we're going to do for the 3D model. And now I'm going to send to Mixamo. And I'm just going to name this dance scene and click save and now it's going to open up Mixamo so now it's exporting our model to Mixamo and it's going to open up a new window and this is where we're going to be selecting our animation so now it's just loading And once it loads, just click finish and click use this character. And now we're going to select animate. So now on the left hand side, there's a lot of different options you can choose from for animations. Um, I'm just going to select the Samba dancing for the purposes of this tutorial. And on the right hand side, you can even um, adjust the energy level and different parts of the animation um, but I'm just gonna I'm, I brought up the en energy level a little bit and now I'm just gonna download the animation and we're gonna be using an FBX format and I'm gonna change the frame rate per second to 24 and now I'm just gonna select download so once the file is downloaded I'm going to open up blender so now we're in Blender, and um, this is just the default setting. When you open Blender, you're going to have this cube. So I'm going to actually delete the cube. So just select the cube and delete. And now we are going to import our FBX file. So you just go to File, Import, FBX, and I'm going to choose my Samba Dancing FBX file and select Import.
So now we have our FBX animation in Blender. And now what we're going to be doing is exporting this as an OBJ file. So what you're going to do is go to File, Export, and select Wavefront OBJ. And what's really important is under Export OBJ on the bottom left, you want to make sure that the animation is selected or your animation will not export. So now under desktop, I created a folder called OBJ Dance Model because I want all of my OBJ files exported into one folder just to keep it organized. So once I select my folder, I am going to select Export OBJ, and this is just going to take a few minutes to export. And then once that file is done exporting, we're going to open up Adobe After Effects. So now I'm in Adobe After Effects, and we're going to create a new composition and I'm just going to use a standard 1920 by 1080, um, 24 frames per second, and we'll just make this a 30 second duration. And now I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid. And this is just going to be the background layer. And now I'm going to import my OBJ animation. So file, import, and then you're going to import file. And now I'm going to go to my folder that I created, my OBJ dance model folder. And as you can see, I have all the OBJ files in this folder, so I'm going to select all of the OBJ files. And once the OBJ files are selected, make sure that you select Form 2 OBJ File Sequence. If that's not selected, the sequence will not be imported properly. So now our sequence is imported in Adobe After Effects, and I'm just going to drag that into the composition. And now we're going to create a new layer, so Layer New Solid. And this is going to be our Trap Code Form layer. So under Effect, go to Trap Code and then select form. And Trap Code Form is a Red Giant plugin. Uh, so you can go on their website to get the Trap Code Form plugin. So now we're going to go to Base Form and select OBJ Model. And under OBJ Settings, we are going to select the sequence that we just imported. And now I'm going to hide the sequence now that we've paired it with the form particles. So as you can see, the model is imported as a particle. So I'm just going to bring down the particle density to 30. And under Particle, I'm going to change the size to 1 and bring down the opacity. And now color, you can, you can pick whatever color you want. I'm going to just play around with a couple colors. Let's see what looks good. I think I'm just going to keep it at the kind of light blue gray color. 
So that's it for the OBJ um, sequence portion of this tutorial. So now I'm just going to be adding a floor layer and a background layer to make this scene a little bit more interesting. So now I'm just going to create um, a new layer and I'm going to make a floor layer for the dance sequence. And I'm going to make the floor layer a 3D layer. So just go to Effect, Generate, and I'm going to add in a gradient ramp. And I'm going to select a ramp sh under ramp shape, a radial ramp. And I'm just going to bring this down to the center. And now I'm just going to rotate this. And I'm going to use the ellipse tool just to round out the floor layer. So this part is all optional. I'm just creating kind of a background for the dance animation. Um, so now I'm going to move the floor layer below the form layer so that she's standing on top of the floor. And now I'm just going to change the color. I'm just going to make it a blue color. And I'm going to bring up the blend with original. And feather out the mask. And I'm going to also bring down the opacity. And I'm just going to rotate this a little bit more. Now I'm just going to add um, some fractal noise to the background. So I'm going to drag that into our background layer. And I'm just going to change some of the settings under fractal noise. And you can you play around with the fractal type, kind of get the look that you want. So I'm just going to choose terrain. And now I'm going to move my floor layer to the bottom of the composition as well as the form model animation. So as you can see, the, the dance animation is only about 8 seconds long, but we made our composition 30 seconds. So what it's going to do is just loop for that full 30 seconds. And that's pretty much it. I'm just making some minor adjustments. I'm going to add a um, curves color correction to my background.
And then I also, under Final Cut Pro, I added the lights, um, the flashing lights that you can see in the background if you're wondering where those came from. Um, I'm also going to post a quick tip on how to add a, um, a flicker in Adobe After Effects if you're interested in that. So th that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.